Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Wildman and uh, it's been a few days since I've been out here and uh, mostly just because it was the Christmas period and spending a lot of time with family and hope you've all enjoyed your Christmas as well and spent time with your family too and uh, we're just back here at the shelter that I've been building and uh, I thought before before we put we make the roof uh, secure and before we make the, the surrounding walls I thought we would make a raised bed inside uh, a bit of, a bit of uh, camp furniture and it's really just because if we were to build the shelter first and I was to try and film the whole process of building the raised bed it might, there might not be a lot of light inside the shelter so that's what we're going to be doing today and first of all I'm just going to be going around collecting a lot of uh, dead wood that's lying about uh, stuff stuff that we can use to build the raised bed with and I'll talk you through the whole process so we'll just head over here and we'll collect some wood. So we've came across this spruce tree that's fallen due to high winds, I suspect. And what we're going to do is take a section out of this uh, fallen tree and use it for the, the sides of the bed, which I'll show you. So that's, that's that section cut off. Um, so we'll take it off the root here as well. So this is one of the, well, a piece of the, the log that we just chopped down and this is going to act as the, almost like the end of the bed where the, the slats run along. And what we would do first of all is just situate it in a, a nice kind of flat area, just scrape away part of that there and that's sort of a, that's sort of a, a good space for it there. Later on we will pin it in place with some stakes uh, but for now this is this is quite a good area for it. So what we'll do now is make some notches along here just for the slats to run along. So we would do that with our, our axe. Just uh, a couple of notches here. Just like that.
So we would do the exact same on this end. And all you would do now is just make sure these slats are all nice and clean and there's no branches coming off of them. We're going to be chopping these into the ground just to hold the bed in place and to save the end splitting when I'm chopping on it we just take a chamfer off it
fish like that, nothing fancy, just to just to stop the, the top of the, the steak mushrooming when you're chomping onto it. There we go, so the bed, the bed's held in with stabs at the side there, and some pegs, and it seems pretty secure, nice and secure, holds a lot of weight, and now what I would do is, uh, I would look for some uh, green branches, probably off of the, the spruce trees that are around here, uh, some of the coniferous woods and we'll just lie it down in some insulation and some soft bedding it also makes it a little bit more comfortable as well uh, because it can be a bit uh, sore in the back with the, the branches and the knots all through the wood so we'll get some insulation we'll spread it across there's also a gap underneath the, the bed as well if you want to put some insulation underneath just to give it that extra bit of warmth uh, but that should be sufficient enough just now So that's the, the insulation done on the bed. Um, I was I was going to try and use some pine branches, uh, but as you can see, they're, they're all the way up high. There's, there's none really down at this kind of height. Um, so what I did do was I went around and collected some uh, ferns, and they just do the, the exact same job. They're a bit thin, so you need a lot you need a lot of them. Um, but they seem to do the job. I've, I've used ferns before. And the thing about this is, um, when building when building this bed, uh, it's a bit tricky in this sort of woodland that I'm in just now, where a lot of the deadfall has been lying for quite some time and it's just rotted right through. So you'd end up cutting through a piece thinking it's a great, it's a great piece of wood and, and it ends up to be rotten and, and it just breaks in your hand. So it's a bit frustrating, but the thing to remember when building a camp or just being in outdoors in general, nothing's perfect so don't beat yourself up about it, it just um, any kind of negative thoughts can can have a big impact on your, your morale and how you do things in the wild. So it's best just to keep a level head, keep positive, if something bad happens just move on, just forget about it and just work with what you've got 
and that's uh, the most important part. So I'll, I'll run through exactly how I've made this bed. I have showed you, but um, I may not have showed you in great detail. So I'll walk through it just now. So I've got my bed there, and right up at the end, that log there, that was a big log that we were cutting at the start, and I've just laid that down and put some of these uh, logs on top as slats, ran them right along to the end, which is another bit there, and as you can see I've pegged them in here, one at that side, one at that side, and that just keeps that from moving around, and it also keeps these slats from moving as well. I've done the same up at the front. Right here, the exact same. And then I put the ferns on the top there. And that's gonna that's gonna give me a nice insulation uh, when I put my, my sleeping bag on top. Or even if I was in a survival situation. If I was in a survival situation I didn't have a sleeping bag, I'll just put some insulation down and uh, then put some more ferns on top just to keep me keep me warm. And the thing about this setup is as well, I'm gonna have a fire. The, the whole length of the bed and that will give me more warmth as well and uh, as you can see here there's a, a little gap in there I can even stuff some leaves or more ferns underneath there it gives it a bit more warmth uh, in the cold so I hope, hope you've enjoyed that it's it's not the best it's not the best bed that I've made uh, I've made a lot better ones but as I said the, the wood in this area is very scarce any wood that you do find it could be rotten so You've just got to work with what you got. So I hope you enjoyed that video everyone. And uh, it was good getting out and completing this task. Uh, it needed done. And I'm glad I done it before I finished the shelter. Because as you can see, there's a, a little bit of light in here. And if I had the whole roof insulated and the walls round about, it would have been a lot harder to see in here. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And again, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. I'll, be, I'll answer them straight away. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much and take care.